afternoon and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas, maybe. We have come out for a walk. Um, it is, it's raining a little bit. It's not, it's not heavy. It's just kind of spitting. It's kind of half rain, half sleet, <laughs> um, but not heavy, thankfully. Um, we have come to Crombie Reservoir, um, which is one of our favourite walking spots, but I don't think we've been here since last year. We certainly haven't been since Storm Arwen, which was, what, November, December last year? Um, because there's all kinds of signs about trees down and the circular route maybe not being open. Um, so I'm not 100% sure whether we're going to be able to get round it yet. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, it's a lovely walk around a reservoir. You walk kind of through the woods. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Um, I have all the knitwear on. I'm wearing... This is the Pass Par 2 shawl, which is a free pattern by Marnell. It was one of the first shawls I ever knit, and I knit it out of John Arban DK Knit by Numbers. Hey. I have... Oh, Arthur's here. Like and subscribe and buy the yarn from Helen Sharp. <laughs> I have um, a hat on, which I didn't knit myself. Um, this was really kindly knit for me by one of the um, other attendees of the Lay Family Yarn Retreat. Um, she knit hats for everybody and we all got a hat, which is so lovely. It's lovely and cosy. Um, yeah, and I don't have hand knit, I don't have any hand knit gloves because I did have some hand knit mittens and then Arthur lost one when he went ice skating with school, which is great. Anyway. I need to keep walking before I fall over. Arthur's also wearing all the knitwear at the moment. Um, so the cowl he's wearing, I can't remember the name of the pattern, but it was a free pattern by the Spurb and Stitcher. And the minis were all um, minis that I knit, I dyed literally right at the beginning they were one of the first mini sets that ever were in my shop so nearly six years ago i think the hat is knit out of dye candy yarn um it is i think it's a mina phillips pattern a really simple mina phillips hat pattern but tom actually knit that hat and then have you got any other knitwear on mittens mittens that i knit you i can't for the life of me remember the yarn this is just some yarn that i've got from somebody um and I can't remember the name of the pattern either. I'll have to put the pattern on the screen. But there we go, all the knitwear to keep us cozy. Tom is also dressed up in knitwear. You knit both of these things yourself. I did. These are the only things I've ever knit. And I knit them and then I thought, I've got a hat and a cowl now, I don't need to do any more knitting. And I've not knit since. <laughs> can you remember what they are? Um, I can, so this is um, a simple but effective cowl. I think it's a tin can knits pattern. And it's a bl black elephant yarns, I think? Yeah, I can't remember the name of the colourway, but it is black elephant. Beautiful. And then this is a West Knits windsheaf hat. Yeah. In and giddy yarn. Yeah, one of my greys that I did at some point. Grey, predictable. Right, we better catch up with the children. They are out of sight. Slabels. Right, slight change of plans. The way this way is completely blocked. We've even tried two different paths. <laughs> so we are going to go back and we're gonna walk the other way around the reservoir and we will just have to walk halfway round and then walk back along the same path. Jazzy is also covered in knitwear. What knitwear are you wearing, Jasper? Gloves. You've got gloves to show me your mittens? I made you finger flap mittens, didn't I? I can't remember the pattern again. I'll have to put it on the screen. The yarn is third volt yarns. Um, 
I think it's the Vulcan High Command colourway. Not 100% sure. My scarf. Your scarf is, yep, yeah, your cowl. I knit this out of, again, the history, Christmas of History advent, the one that's the socks that I showed you. Um, I didn't use all the colours, but just a few. I was kind of testing the order of the colours. And I used the numbers for the Land of Sweets cowl, but I didn't, um, I didn't put the pattern in. And then your hat, your hat is a, it's not a flax, I've forgotten what it's called, it's a barley, it's a barley hat. Um, but without, I didn't do the um, pattern on it, it's just a simple, it's just the numbers from the barley hat. And the yarn, I think, is a mothy and the squid colourway. You running off? You running off now? <laughs> and we'll see you up all night and the massive fail the other path we need to take is this one here which we can't get through um, we've literally managed so where are the trees down you can see just here are the trees that were down on the other side so we've literally just managed like this teeny tiny little bit and that's it we're gonna go and attempt another walk I think Another change of plans. We found a way through. A very friendly dog walker pointed out that you can actually get through this way and you can get most of the way round if you take the back paths. So we're going to give it a go. I will try hard just to keep you. So keep on smiling. Would you rather dunk a biscuit in everything you drink or never drink again? Oh, I think I'd rather dunk a biscuit in everything I drink. Ooh. We're going to do... Fact of the day! We're going to do our fact of the day today about red squirrels because we're on our walk and at Crombie they have a red squirrel feeding area 
which we will have shown you in the video a little bit earlier on. So yeah. did you know that red squirrels are native to the UK, but they're now an endangered species because... Grey squirrels took over. Yeah, grey squirrels were introduced to the UK in the 19th century. I think they just came across on boats and things like that. I'm not 100% sure. I think they snuck on. You think they snuck on, maybe. Um, and um, they have basically outcompeted the red squirrels. Um, so red squirrels are now endangered. But there's a lot of places in the UK that are actively working, especially places in Scotland and the Lake District like is here. another place. Um, that are actively working to try and increase the numbers of red squirrels by getting sort of specific food for them and managing the numbers of grey squirrels That's and things nuts. like that. What do you think squirrels eat? N-U-T, nuts. Nuts, yeah. So there we go. There is today's fact of the day. Squirrel. You're being a red squirrel? Thank you.